Hi everyone, after all the doom and gloom and general heaviness of Futaba's palace, it's time to do something light and fun. That's right, two and a half weeks of freaking confidant! <laughs> but we should make a whole lot of progress in this time, or so we hope. We ended last time by starting to commit to going to the shrine with On, so here we are, let's do it. Oh yeah, we're the Bittersweet Gamers. I'm We Squared. And I'm the Opinionator. Let's rock. So, you know how people will pray before filming movies so that it'll, it'll go smoothly? Should we try praying to the gods, too? It could be about us. Oh, I'm son. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> you meant for the Phantom Thief. Right? I do not understand what you are speaking of. Could you spell it out in the <laughs> World for the Thieves? What is subtlety? Okay. Darn! <laughs> yeah, for the future, the Phantom Thieves. I don't think we're far enough in the Confidant event for that option, but we've already made our choice anyway, so there. Dang it. Oh, but I don't really know how to pray properly. What should I do? Maybe I'll ask someone. Pull up a how-to video on YouTube? Oh, God! Of all people! <laughs> Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Is that so? Huh. <laughs> what a surprise seeing you in a place like this. She glances it on and then is like, Oh, Jiro, someone I really want, actually want to talk to. <laughs> Are you two on a date? Such an odd location for someone your age. Speaking of something odd, what are you doing here, Miss Goth Chick? What if she's just here to pray? Come on! <laughs> and and you? Yeah, exactly. Minor business, I guess. So it makes sense that a doctor would, uh... Um, is this someone you know, Gino? <laughs> Even though technically we've already met, I think, <laughs> just right. like two days ago. <laughs> Don't worry about me, Miss Forgetful. I don't intend to intrude. Oh. Eh. oh, I assume you're here for your college entrance exams. You had mentioned them before. Or were you lying about that? <laughs> Shake the bell twice and put in your offering. Then bow twice, clap twice, and bow once again. Wasn't that what you wanted to ask? <laughs> you're amazing, Doc. You're amazing! Wait, you're a doctor? I totally didn't <laughs> recognize you since you're dressed like this. That's fair. Well, you really helped us out. Thank you very much. Sure. Although, you may want to use this time to actually study for the exams instead of praying. That's what I would do. <laughs> Ex exams? Hey, after all that heckling, I think I recognize her. Right. Yeah. That's the doctor who gets us our medicine, and more importantly, just a couple of days ago, Futaba, she took care of her. Now, now, you were now. There. You know that that's like that because what if we hadn't finished the palace by now? Commentator, you shut your mouth. <laughs> I don't have to take any lip from a bag cat. <laughs> oh, I see. Wait, you've been here the whole time? How rude! I'm here to spy on you to make sure you don't do anything romantic! Huh? Yeah. Anyway, what is this about praying for college entrance exams? Yep. Oh, we asked earlier if he could get us some super stimulants to help us study, and since then, we've been human guinea pigs. Well, I mean, I'm a cat guinea pig. And, and I'm you not haven't even... actually been guinea pigged on. I'm not even a guinea pig, because I'm a cat. This is confusing. I see. Glad somebody understood that in the lather. Wait. Wouldn't the gods be mad to get a visit from a cheater? We're not actually using stimulants on! <laughs> that was just a lie to get those super drugs that help us out in battle! Man, I think Takemi was already gonna go up too, but at least we got the points for on. Yeah. Well, Billy, this is just what we were waiting for, you know that? <laughs> okay, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Maybe you weren't. Okay, so... We, uh, we do have a lot of jobs that we need to take in order to further some memento stuff. Mm -hmm. and, we were, and same with Ryuji whenever we get the opportunity to. Right. So, since we can't hang out with Chihaya, because remember, this is going to be the Chihaya show forever. <laughs> so let's get this started. Well, if you keep coming to a place like this, you won't turn out to be a good adult. <laughs> or is it that you're interested? in working here at night. You still won't turn out to be a good adult, but... <laughs> a lot of different people visit this bar. 
So maybe working here could broaden your perspective. Only if we get to wear a wig in Komodo too. Yeah, no comment. Let's do this. <laughs> you may not oh, realize God. it, but you've got potential, young man. <laughs> I can teach you the basics of how things are run here. Don't worry, you won't do anything illegal. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. So this is going to be interesting, but let's do it. <laughs> oh, goody. Is he, he going to be wearing a... Ah, boo! Honestly, I'm extremely happy that he just <laughs> is dressed like this. Okay, let me explain what you'll be doing here, darling. It's your first time, so things might be a little scary. But just try to relax. It's easy work. <laughs> um, <laughs> now hold on just I'm one so second! Scared. I thought that Kawakami was the one who was kind of in danger of... <laughs> I'll need you to help with some chores around the bar. Washing dishes, clearing tables, the like. I have to entertain the customers, so I can't do those things myself. That's why you're here now. Thank God! <laughs> and there you have it. Explanation finito. That must be why you're dressed so plainly. Because you're not up here. Do you have any questions? <laughs> you know what you want to ask, David. I really just, I really just don't have a. <laughs> is this, is this required? Oh, I'm interested. <laughs> I can be your producer if that's the case. <laughs> Ryuji senses tingling. Something <laughs> bad's happening to Jiro. I have to go save him. <laughs> <laughs> So, I, I should mention <laughs> yeah. that under some very interesting and specific circumstances, I have in fact uh, cross-dressed myself. Halloween doesn't count. No, I've done it in. I've done it for theater. And, that also doesn't count. And, You're fine. And then I did it for. Uh, sorry, I repressed the memories. Uh, <laughs> And then I did it for a job, too. It was kind of like to help raise money for charity. And that, that's so fine. Like we dressed up several times. No one's going to judge you. And you know what I have to say about it? What do you have to say about it? It was really fun, and dresses are really comfortable. <laughs> it doesn't do anything to my flagpole, though. I'm just saying. Let's continue on. I don't want to break any adult entertainment laws, you know. What you're wearing now is fine. Thank God. Isn't this game only rated M in any case? <laughs> well, do you have any questions? Um, so I'm a miner and this is a bar? No, just don't touch any of it. You're fine. <laughs> no drinking it, of course. But that also means no serving it, either. I'll do that. Don't worry. Anything else? You're just here for the grunt work. Um, do I need to worry about, you know, things? <laughs> Well, there's just one of me, so sometimes I can't pay attention to all my customers. Would you be on the lookout for those times? I'm sure they'll want to talk to you, too. Oh, God! They're all great people, so don't worry. I'm sure it'll be a good experience for you. Well, I get to it right now. <laughs> it's almost time for the customers to arrive, so good luck. Get the dishwashing, but we just opened. Don't sass me. <laughs> Imagine if you did have to cross-dress for this job. Shut up, Morgana. <laughs> I would have loved to see you all dolled up. Oh. Hey, there's a customer who's all alone. You should go check up on him. Are you referring to the two people in front of me? I don't think they're alone. Mm. Okay, I should go to the businessman. Because yeah, that's, that's the one we need to find out to get the memento st information. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah, yeah. It was a businessman. You work here part-time? Ah, oh, you look very young. This might bore you, but I wanted to ask, what do you think of our nation's economy? What the hell is wrong with you? They use tax money as an emergency measure to restore the economy. Ah, oh, Keynesian economics, eh? But it only increased our nation's debt, which in turn burdens us, the citizens. Is this really a good strategy for revitalizing the economy? My god, the customers here really are interesting. Man. Oh, this is gonna take a long time. So about trickle-down economics. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got some knowledge. Yeah, two points. That's worth it. Thanks for your help. 
a miner like you should probably be getting home round now. Oh, right, you were speaking with Nagai-san, right? He's an elite banker. He talks a lot, but he's got a wealth of knowledge. Was that a money pun? I bet you learned a lot by talking to him. My god, this is great! That means if I... Okay, probably just like what happened with Yoshida in the past when we worked at the beef bowl shop, like, there's gonna be events that will... Right. ...that will uh, automatically happen. Uh -huh. You just have to work there so many times to get the events to go off. Something right, like that, right, right, right. That makes sense. Uh, but this way it's been established. But if you know who everybody is and you can get some like what you'll get from talking to them, then you can get some stat points and some yeah. money. And yeah. that may actually be like a better way or an efficient way for some stats. Not knowledge, but... Right. Uh... Huh. Well, that wasn't what I was expecting, but that was actually kind of fun. I'm still surprised. That bar turned out to be a lot less silly and a lot more serious and interesting than I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. So, next up, more on! Well, it would make sense because we did the event to get her up to level up points, so we might as well do her. Uh, do it. Uh, oh god, I just did no way I could back out of this. Man, she just wants to eat sweets. I'm <laughs> terrible with this stuff. Last night, I had my, like, semi-monthly small amount of sweet food, so I'm good for a really long time. It was a sliver of pecan pie. <laughs> now, I've got a sweet tooth. He's got a bitter tooth. I do. I really like bitter flavors. Have you maybe <laughs> noticed that this might have something to do with the name of the channel? I'm just saying. <sighs> Looks like they're not doing their famous double chocolate crepes today. Oh, I had the worst luck. <laughs> oh, a mail. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's from the agency. I wonder what they can want. Oh, God. Huh? Mika! At the Sky Tower? Where's that and why did it have to happen now? Why do I have to work with that dumb... anyway? Well, they want me to head over for a shoot now. Feels pretty familiar, doesn't it? Basically, this men's magazine is running a Mika special to try and capitalize on her recent popularity. But apparently, she asked for me specifically to star alongside her for the shoot. Oh, God. I wonder... Could be an assassination attempt. Yes! Character assassination. Exactly that. Great, I'm so looking forward to it. It's a trap! It's a trap! It's obviously a trap! <laughs> Oh my god! I never would have considered it! Should I, should I say no? Yes! Oh, Dang it! But I already agreed. Well, I guess I won't know what she wants unless I head over. So, have you been to the Sky Tower before? How do you get there? Let's go! Oh, and can you come with me? Actually, I've already decided for you! You're going! <laughs> come on! Okay! Jesus! <sighs> Alright, we made it! Wait, where's Mika? Oh, so you came for my special. You asked for me, right? Wow. I barely recognize you. I mean, Same I've, here. I've only ever seen you the one time anyway, so how am I supposed to know who the heck you are? <laughs> Did you lose weight or maybe change your makeup? The theme for today's shoot is the elegance of women. So I conditioned my body to be more elegant. What? What? Controlling what you eat, how you move, that's all. It may sound easy, but it's pretty tough. You have to write down everything you eat. Make sure to check the nutritional and caloric and content. Yeah, the last time that we were doing something that involved Mika in one of the odd events, mm -hmm. Odd was like, I don't do anything, I'm just born this way, and it's natural for me to be able to do all this stuff, and Mika was mortified. Oh, the drama. <laughs> so here she's just like lording lording it all over on with uh, her higher technique. Honestly, I'm I'm more more prone to use like that scientific and analytical way myself. It uh, whatever. I even hired a personal trainer to take special note of my diet and oversee my exercise regimen. I'm better than you, Neener Neener, is what she's saying. <laughs> That's amazing. Does that mean you don't get to eat double chocolate crepes? <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> of course I don't. I don't. I'd get fat with just one bite of that stuff. I can eat 50. Not to mention the other stuff I do. I take herbal medication, wear warming socks, do Pilates and yoga. I stay up late playing video games. I'm going to throw you off this tower. Day after day, how many squats do you think I do in a week? I kind of get a little exercise when I run fast. Ugh, 
A natural beauty like you could never understand how much work I put into my modeling. <laughs> you know, it's kind of embarrassing getting complimented <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm beginning to worry that An may not make it out of this confidant event alive. It's a good thing that Gino's here, right? <laughs> Sorry, did I say natural beauty? What I meant was natural airhead. My grades aren't that bad. What did you say? Hey, who are you calling an airhead? There's only a few people who get to call me an airhead, and you're not one of them. I am. Eek, on senpai, stop it. You're scaring me. I hate this woman so much. Mika-chan, are you okay? Man, cat fights are scary. Yeah. Throw you off the tower. Someone's getting thrown off the tower. Oh. <laughs> Th this way, Mika-chan. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly the expression I'm looking for. <laughs> wonderful! Oh god, wonderful! I see now. This is a test. Yes. Well, I'm not gonna lose. Ha! <laughs> um, Anchan, could, could you try being a little, you know, sexier? You mean like this? Oh! Oh, God! Oh! Oh! oh Jesus oh, Christ, that's, man! That's beautiful! Wait! Mika, why are you doing this? I thought you looked up to me. You should have known that was a lie, but I guess you're just as naive as you look. Anyway, stupid amateurs like you really piss me off. You better not drag me down, okay? Oh! Oh! Oh, my God! Yes! Yes! Mika! I need to hire a new cameraman. <laughs> that was awkward and uncomfortable. Oh, you know the president of that fancy car company, Boyota? Introduce me, please. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The owner even invited me to dinner. You know, working with all of you just makes me so happy. Uh. I'm going home. Yeah, I, I think that's the right answer. Now, on what did we learn about rivals? Yeah, just just stay away from her. An's not that interesting and interested in modeling anyway. Right. So why should she even waste her time with a toxic person she doesn't get along with? Yeah, I was just going to try and use her to boost her own yeah, image. Yeah, or, or just to beat her up, because that's all she's doing is it's... Eh. Well, you know, she didn't tell her about the theme of the shoot till after she got there, so An couldn't prepare with clothes. Yeah, it's like she's actually being hostile. Mm-hmm. Mm. Why didn't Mika ask for me? It's okay, An. There, there. We're just the dumb ones. <laughs> to to An's credit, she she's not willing to see. Yeah. To see the bad in it. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> I I don't think. I don't think that just randomly complimenting her is the right call. I don't either. But that is what she likes to hear. Yeah, I but... Mean, she... This is on. They're obviously going to actually make up in some way. And that's that's probably for the better. Right. I don't know. What do you think? <sighs> well, that... It, well, actually, they're both kind of true. Because on is a natural beauty who can eat double chocolate crepes. You know, you're right. You're right. So that isn't lying, that, and that can panders to it. That's very good. That's a great rationalization. <laughs> because you're a natural beauty. Someone she wanted to beat. Yeah. Is that why she was mad at me? Wait, so the real reason she requested me was just so she could be mean? Basically. If that's the case, I've probably deserved everything she did. What? Yeah, that yeah. that's that's kind of patri patronizing, yeah. yeah. Uh, don't worry. They're there and all that. I'm I'm so pissed off! Good, you should be! Mika had to work super hard every day to get where she is now. She worked out, watched her diet, made friends with everyone. She couldn't rely on connections like I did. She didn't become a model just for the heck of it like I did. Her resolve, her knowledge, her fashion sense, they're all on a totally different level from me. Mika's amazing. Mika's, Mika's strong. Not what I was expecting. Not at all. Me? 
I'm nothing. Uh, Just thinking about that makes me so angry. I feel like I could explode. This whole time, I've just been pretending to model. No. It was like the clothes were wearing me. I mean, that's what I always thought being a model meant. But I was totally wrong. A real model draws out the beauty of the clothes they wear, casts a stunning magic on them. So, uh, uh, on, honey, uh, there's a bit more to it than just the clothes, I'm sure. I, I am not going to talk to anybody about what you should or should not do to be a model. Fair enough. A real model is flexible, beautiful, and strong. Honestly, if this helps give give on some resolve... Yeah, maybe she'll take modeling more seriously now. I mean, I don't care if she does or not. That's her decision. Right. That's her decision to make about her own life. But if it if it actually improves her in some way, mm -hmm. like in a way that she's happy with, then great. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've had enough pretending. I want to be a real model. Go I... get him, Tiger. I mean, that's the only encouraging one. Oh, God, no. I got to think about this one. Like... Go get him, Tiger. Is the only real encouraging one here. Yeah, I suppose you're right. This one is the one that doesn't, that that just affirms her. Like you already are one, directly contradicts what she just said. Yeah, so that's not what she wants to hear, and she doesn't want to hear the way you were thinking before was right, and the way you're right. thinking now is wrong. So go get him, Tiger. Meow. Go, go do it. I, I can't get too invested or too involved in this, but I'll support you in what you do. But I mean. What do you want? I'm, I'm the sort of guy who's more likely to sit and, like, blather about economics. So. <laughs> right. I'll give it my all. Yes! I'm gonna take the world by storm. Just you watch, you know. Well, good for on. Right? I, I wonder if she's actually gonna take that seriously. Probably. She's pretty... She's pretty serious. Well, I mean, do you suppose she's going to uh, actually... Just based on that, I actually decide that she wants to be a model now, instead of being an actress? Maybe, but she's probably going to look at it in a seri more serious manner now. And I suppose it's not like they're not connected, and that just improving your resolve in general, I right. mean, that's a good thing. So anyway, sexy technique. Oh my. So I like how with On, all of her confidant abilities that she's learned, or some of them, two of them anyway, have right. actually been directly related to the to the scene. Nobody uh -huh. else has really been like that. That's true. Uh... Oh, I'm so mad. This is the perfect time for sweets. But no, I won't eat them. I mean, I will, but <laughs> not today. You eat some for me, Gino. I'll watch and enjoy them vicariously. I don't want to eat sweets. <laughs> At long last, it's time to finish off a confidant. It'll be great to have Sunday nights back. I really did appreciate how it didn't matter what persona we had or what we picked. We just had to show yeah. up on Sunday night. Nonetheless, I've really enjoyed Yoshida's confidant a whole lot, so let's see how it Everyone. is. Facing civic disorder and economic uncertainty, the citizens are in turmoil. It is imperative that we resolve this situation, and social reform must be led by the government. However, who can the people currently depend on? Yes, the phantom thieves, like this young man right here. Ah, hey, wait! The fact, the fact that they're being ionized is proof that the government is malfunctioning. Billy. Yes? Why are, ah. you, why are you ionizing the phantom thieves? <laughs> the mismanagement by authority figures is what has led us to this terrible con condition. Maybe I need to attend some of his speeches to get my charm up. A weekly magazine reported that Kuramoto was the real culprit in the fund's misappropriation case. So the information got leaked anyway, that's good. Yeah, and even though Yoshida wasn't the one who had to, mm -hmm. who had to like, belt out about it, it, they still found out. That's good, because what, unlike basically everything else that we've run into, it shows that the corruption, like the entire system isn't completely and right. unsavably corrupt. Somebody still managed to find the truth. Old man Kuramoto will likely be forced to retire from the political world. Good freaking riddance! Right? The police can't do anything because it was 20 years ago. But he has a moral obligation. I mean, his career is done after this. Basically. 
I hear his grandson Benzo resigned from the party as well. Yeah, I don't think he'd be able to survive that either. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter how much he knew or didn't know, just right? the connection and the connection is enough to kind of wreck him. It could be due to Matsushita's influence, or perhaps it's just the party's way of atoning. Uh, that is something that's singularly Japanese, mm -hmm. like the uh, taking responsibility. Ah, yeah, it, yeah. They take that very seriously. Now it's all up to me and my abilities. Yeah, I guess he's the only candidate running for his side. Yeah, like the other, like part of that opposition got got wrecked. I don't know how many parties there are. Remember, there's there's like a lot of parties, and none of them are real parties right. in in this. But I mean, he still like the the major opposition ended up just having to having to totally withdraw, right? And since Yoshida has become more popular and is on the Phantom Thieves bandwagon, yeah. which he can do because the Phantom Thieves have become a national issue now, right? Might be able to win after all. When's your speech gonna start, Taranaske? We can't wait. To think that people would be excited to hear me speak. But I feel it. The article mentioned I didn't want the real culprit to be named, even though I knew who it was. <laughs> that gets to make him... Look better? Well, depending on how they... Depending on how they spin it, either look better or look worse. Yeah. Probably... Probably look better in this case, though. I don't know. Well, that that's a whole other whole other can of worms. I'm not really going <laughs> to worry about that. Apparently... People admire me for having quietly accepted a false charge for 20 years. And there you have it. Yep. Like, so as to not disgrace his mentor. And yeah, sit, yeah. And sit and squabble and throw a fit. But, I mean, the way that I'm looking at it is it's like it is hiding the truth. But isn't that also a Japanese thing to do, though? Like, to quietly endure? Yeah. Well, regardless of the general principle, whatever it may or may not be, in this specific situation... It all worked out for him pretty it well. It worked out really well, and he does look good because of it. Yeah. I didn't intend for any of this to happen, though. I mean, remember, he's the guy who, after he got drummed out of his party, just stayed and, and kept trying to get elected and kept uh -huh. trying to speechify and never gave up. So, like, combined with all that, it looks real good. Well, your true self was revealed, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that someone like you, who's been watching me so closely, would say such a thing. I've struggled for the past 20 years, but I can put that all behind me after the election. Yep. Whether you win or lose, huh? Oh, look at the time. I should get started. If you ever need someone to be Today a secretary... Will be the last day I'll request help from you. I know, right? No, she does. A member of the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> well, you know, we, we... We we know, we know. We know, you know. I don't intend to meddle. <laughs> Everything I've told you has been based on assumptions. But if you're still willing to listen... I wonder if anybody else is going to figure out that... Wouldn't that be interesting if the final one... Like, for, like, if... all of them... Is hey, you're one of the Phantom Thieves, aren't you? Huh. And then we get to Ryuji's level ten. He's like, yeah, you're one of the Phantom. Oh wait, we already know that. Never mind. <laughs> then I think you should focus on your work because the time is now. That's why he's not going to ask for any more help. I like that a lot <laughs> because it was. It always felt ridiculous in Persona Four. Like you build up this great bond, and then it's like, later, I'm never going to see you ever again or right. spend any time with you now right. that we're close. <laughs> yeah. I mean, forget you, dude. So this is, it's, it's nice having, having a reason. I can't think of anything else to teach you. Hey, you really saved our bacon in the last dungeon <laughs> with mind control. <laughs> right. You are now an expert on giving speeches. And it shows. I taught you all I know about the art of public speaking in return for you supporting a guy like me. And over time, you became someone who shared my beliefs. I just really admire the fact that he's so principled and won't back down on his principles regardless. That's probably why he's so popular, frankly. Well, becoming I mean because he hasn't too, but he yeah. hasn't been popular. He's been he's been miserable and a joke. It's he's been becoming popular. Well that's that's what I meant. Thanks to you, I was able to overcome my crisis these last few months. Yeah, I suppose sort of getting a little bit a little bit of spotlight and then then showing that that, that he's so principled. I will strive for the royal road of politics, thinking of you as you walk down your own path. Royal road of politics. I like that. 
I don't know if I do. But if you ever find yourself in harm's way on your journey, I will be there to help you. Well, any government needs more people like you, Yoshida. Right? We'll be comrades who reform the world together. Man, I really am gonna miss him, though. Yeah. I am thou. Thou art I. This is cool. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Oh my! Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the sun, granting thee infinite power. Well, I don't know about infinite, right? <laughs> I'm sure you will accomplish everything you set out to do. Well, I'm gonna try! <laughs> for everything. All right, it's time to begin. Do we get to hear a speech? Surely not. <laughs> Oh shit, his speech is about to start. And I still get to hold the sign! One last bit of placard <laughs> planting! Placation? I cut my date short so I could watch this, you know? Does anyone out there have something they aspire to do? Oh, I like this. I met a certain young man. Through a method that differs from mine, he was trying to reform the world. I actually am really glad that we get this speed. Yeah. It's like a really great way to, to, to send like, him off. Yeah. As you know, that is a very large mountain to cross. Unfortunately, I am unable to travel the same path as him. However, I will not say goodbye because we will surely meet at the peak. Huh. He is desperately doing what he aspires to do. No, this is a good trick for a speech, too. <laughs> so I encourage you all, please find what it is that you aspire to do. Because what he's doing is, first off, he's showing his humility. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, Yoshida is by no means what anybody would ever consider a young man. Right. So it, it's like he's sort of showing that, that he's got more of a connection uh, more of a connection to younger people. Right, I mean, right. and that, that makes a lot of sense because that's like even part of the stuff that he says. That's like part of his stump. But by connecting, by showing the connection to youth and by being humble and then by empowering the audience, right, right. it's like it makes it a real uplifting sort of speech. And I will support you because that is what I aspire to do. And, he, and, and just the idea of I will work for you servant and, of the people and i want you to to fulfill your dreams i mean that's yeah it, it's i mean it's like kind of a 101 type of type of speech like really basic right. but i mean they're basics for a reason yeah <laughs> you you do it more people probably ought to but that's really cool i like that a lot way to go Toronto it's like when we started, people were heckling him, and yeah. now we get this. Eight points of charm. <laughs> Basically, almost all of our charm has come from Yoshida. <laughs> it would have been pretty fitting if it had gone up. Bye, Yoshida! Okay, who's surprised by this? And then Yoshida calls him to hang out tomorrow. <laughs> hmm... I don't know if we should do this, though. Yeah, I mean, we're, he's already at a point where we can level him up. And I don't want to have to... Well, I do want to see what the scene is. Bah! Okay, we'll do it, then we'll come back to it. Truth be told, I found something interesting. It's a DVD that talks about paintings from around the world. Although I bought it, I don't have a device to play it on. <laughs> and even if I did have one, the cicadas are noisy at my dormitory. As such, I would like to borrow your room. You and, don't have to be there, but and commission your electronics. Eh, I don't think I'm really gonna nah. do that after all. I mean, the sports one wasn't really that fun either. Yeah. So, sorry, dude. I don't give a crap about you and your interests. Well, I mean, he can use the DVD to watch it tomorrow. We just won't be there.
Guys, it's terrible! We're in time management hell! <laughs> okay, we have to get our charm up to do the next Takami event, but we don't have the time to get a lot of charm today. Plus, we need to work at the flower shop uh -huh. and work at Crossroads right. and do all of the confidants. Plus, if in order to get more points, we have to find the time, like more points to the confidants, we have to find the time to go pray at the shrine to right. get points, which is really good for Sojiro because you yeah. don't get no points with anything with him. Right. But how are we going to find the time to do any of this? I want to go back into the power if things were simpler there. But... Who the hell am I fighting? <laughs> More like, what the hell am I watching? This may not be the best use of time, but <laughs> Les Miserables, as it turns out, I am a big fan of Les Mis, the musical, read the book. What does that have to do with this, Damon? Read the book twice, so <laughs> look, my life will not be fulfilled if I don't see the uh, Persona 5 take on Les Mis. <laughs> don't worry, though, I won't break out into song. Maybe. It was him, he stole the silverware. I, he it is. He stole the candlesticks, thief. Confess your crime. Oh, is there no God in this world? <laughs> oh God, hold on. Okay, so for anybody who's not familiar with Les Mis. Like me. Um... That was, in fact, a parody of four different songs in a particular <laughs> style. I'm very impressed. If I were to sit and blather about it, it uh -huh. would take way too long. <laughs> I'm not going to. It's kind of like the opening, like one of the part of the opening number uh -huh. and like something, something with Javert later. And I greatly, <laughs> greatly appreciate it. Oh, I am nerding out. The look on his face is priceless. That bishop guy is too much. He should cut the other guy some slack. That's also sort of a parody and portmanteau of two different characters and events. <laughs> ah, maybe it wasn't as good as I was hoping for. It's, it's okay, it's okay. I needed right. to know. <laughs> I had to know. Now you can sleep at night. By the way, the movie that came out several years ago, the uh -huh. movie version of Les Mis, it's no good. Nobody can sing. <laughs> I suppose for a musical that would be important. No, I, I actually saw the Broadway. Oh, uh, like the current. Uh, it was a few years ago. The the Broadway tour actually came to Oklahoma City, and I went right. and saw it. And it was freaking glorious. Nice. Uh, the only musical I've ever seen is Cats, <laughs> which we can't say is unrelated to what's going on. We're not actually sure what we're going to be doing. Our options are very limited right now. But we figure we may as well try a few things and see what uh, see what sticks. So, so let's that... play a video game while we're playing a video game. Yeah, so we're totally going to do video game oh. meta. Uh, one of the games actually lets us improve charm. So... Which is what we're trying to build up. And we've never done this before, so let's see how it goes. And if we don't like it, we'll just reload and do something that might be more meaningful. <laughs> probably like working at a bar or something. And this is not what we were intending to do. All right, Gambler Goemon. It's not quite Gambare Goemon, but you know. Okay. <laughs> Let's start up the legend of, Ga of Gambler Goemon. Hmm. I, I never played a whole lot of the Goemon games. Uh huh. Um, like, about three, I guess. You know, I like, played the American version, yeah, Legend, Legend of the, of the Mystical, Mystical Ninja, Ninja, which is what this music yeah, sounds and, like and, it's from. And you played the, like, Goemon on the N64, too. Which yeah, cool. yeah, that one... <laughs> well, I'm not gonna get into it, but the giant robot parts are pretty funny. So, this game is about a notorious thief who fell down into oh. hell. MS MSRB rating. Wait, something showed up ahead. Is that a demon? So the deceitful thief who ravaged the world has shamelessly entered this infernal domain. I can't believe that an old 8-bit game is totally voiced. I shall show you the true tortures of hell. Why is he Scottish? <laughs> At least, I would, but it'd be boring to treat the famous Goemon the same as any old person. Instead, we shall use the two dice in my hand for a little game. I call it Odds or Evens, the most basic of gambling. This is really weird. First, you'll have to choose between either even or odd. Even means numbers like two, six, or eight. <laughs> While odd means numbers like three, 
7 or 11. Thank you very much for this uh, important information. Everything I learned about math, I learned from video games. That's probably true. Actually, I have learned a lot about math from games. After you choose, I will roll the dice. If you guessed correctly, you win. Otherwise, you lose and just have to start the game over. Wow, this is gripping. And that's all there is to it. Do you understand the rules? I may be like a demon from hell, but I have to be polite here. Okay, let's do it. I bet on odd. Interesting choice. You will win if the number is odd. Well, let's find out what it'll be. It's so exciting, isn't it? I just love rolling these dice. That's why I carry them around. I bet odd because this is odd. It's even. Oh. A two and a four, even! Oh, oh you suck! Let's try this again! <laughs> so wait, Damon. Did Jiro actually respond to the video game and the video game understood him? No, you just move <laughs> the cursor in the game like you're selecting something like I'm doing. I'm sticking with odd! It was even six again. <laughs> I think this game is rigged. You know, the second you pick even, it's going to be odd. odd. You might as well just ride the odd train all the way through. Yay! You got it! A two and a five. Odd. Oh. Yeah! Nice! You got it right! Yes! You won! <sighs> What incredible luck. It was 50-50. I should have expected nothing less of the famous Goemon. I like how he's not rolling his R's anymore. Shut up. It's your win. Continue forth. So what do we get? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the retro graphics. Yeah. Okay, the demon's gone and the gate open. Looks like you can move onward now. What's the next okay. level? Blackjack? I also like how that's a Super Nintendo there. But oh, yeah. It's like really clearly, you know... A, like a Famicom. Right. Well, you cleared that stage. I love that attitude you had. Persistence is so cool. Two points. Aww. Well, you know, I think I'll actually keep it after all. I was thinking maybe we'd just go work a job or something. Right. But if we do it again, then we yeah, clear we it. Yeah, it. Yeah, and that should like give it. more points. Maybe. All right. I hope. Now we yeah. need the charm anyway. So we decided to go with Yusuke. I feel slightly guilty because we're sort of bouncing around between various activities, but... Ah! Well, we'll figure it out. Our prior theme, love. It proved to be quite useful for me indeed. After our... Uh... <laughs> enlightening... If you say so, ma'am. ...session, I once again attempted to paint. However... Nothing I'd put on the canvas was to my satisfaction. All of it came out really being, frankly, way too dirty. <laughs> Before the gods of art, I am not but a lost sheep. Ah, yes! Lost sheep! I have come here with you for precisely that reason. I'm scared, Indeed. Damon! Our theme today shall be anguish! Real quick, I would like to point out that his bangs go one direction here, but every time it does the close-up, they're going the opposite direction. CONTINUITY! <laughs> there is a problem with the art! But is the actual direction of my bangs as important as the feeling behind the... There is no feeling behind the direction of one's bangs. <laughs> I shall paint the anguish Christ himself felt as he bore the sins of mankind! Okay. The priest, like, sticks his head out of the confessional. Excuse me, I'm trying to have a confessional here. Could you keep it down? I have seen various sculptures and paintings on the matter, but merely replicating them will not do. Would any believers be willing to model and help me capture the true essence of anguish? Yusuke, you are not putting me up on a crucifix and putting a crown of thorns on my head. Mm, it seems not. <laughs> I suppose maybe that's asking a little too much. <laughs> Very well. Oh, you know, no! you will have to be my model today. You will feel anguish from this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying here, man, but like, based on the uh, general theme of the last couple, what are you actually asking me to do? Do, do I need to strip? <laughs> oh, that must be it! That is what I need! I will not rest until I paint all the phantom thieves naked! 
Yusuke, why are you obsessed with the nudes? Because you're a teenager. Only a subject naked as the day they were born can convey the true anguish of birth. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, you realize oh, yeah. what you just said? Yeah, I guess so. Gobbledygook. Now then, strip. Take it all. Actually, perhaps not. <laughs> Being found stark naked in the church <laughs> would be even bigger news than the Phantom Thieves. Jira gets upon the altar. Paint me like one of your French women. Now then, let us begin. Show me a pose that will put the anguish of Christ on full display. Dab! Well, that, that's fair. That's fair. That, it's kind of half-hearted, huh? Uh, hmm. Well, this would be... Oh, perhaps. I'll just use my imagination a little bit. <laughs> uh, this doesn't work. It's all your fault. Goodness, look at you. You know, real quick... Look at the back wall, and look at all those paintings that are blocked by the podium on the lower part of the wall. Why are those paintings there if they can't be seen by the congregation? Um, that's a really good question, actually. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there. We can continue. There should be, like, elsewhere. Like, like on higher the, up or on the, on the Yeah. <laughs> I would like to capture anguish, yet you remain calm and composed. Even the slightest wrinkle can change one's impression of things. I shall not compromise even for this sketch. Here, give yourself a paper cut. No. Now, raise your hands higher. I'm going to go fetch a spear, a hammer, and some nails. <laughs> oh, no! You said you wouldn't wear the crown of thorns, but I can do the rest. <laughs> more. Give me more anguish. Bring it to its upper limits. Mommy, what are those two men doing? Like this! <laughs> ah, so this position, so this is the passion of the Christ! <laughs> Forsaken by his disciples, abhorred as a criminal by the public, pierced with nails and hung on the cross. I understand now, this is the true anguish of the passion! It feels as though something is boiling up within me! <laughs> well, what are you children doing? Uh, oh. Ah, well, it's it's the Passion of the Christ, you see. We were... This is an art study reenacting, um... Art? That? I am attempting to paint anguish, so I decided to use the Crucifixion of Christ as a point of reference. So you're interested in the anguish of the Crucifixion? Hmm, while it is true that Jesus' crucifixion on the cross is a deep symbol of suffering, it also bears a much more positive message, one of resurrection, of forgiveness. I mean, that is sort of the point. Oh. Resurrection? Forgiveness? You mean, before attempting to use a religion as art, I should perhaps have <laughs> some idea of what the message of the religion is, regardless of my own beliefs or lack thereof? Especially if you're going to use symbolism from that religion! I'm not sure I understand. Those ideas are contradictory to my conception of anguish. It may be difficult to grasp what I'm saying right now, but try to consider that the anguish one may feel today will someday bring forth hope, new, new hope. <clears throat> Did you just become dyslexic today? A little bit. Ah, uh, and by the way, I suggest you contain your excitement while here. You may trouble the congregation. Like it pans over to like 30 people sitting in the pews. So, those shocking depictions were actually meant to represent forgiveness, not pain? Huh. Hope from anguish. You know, if Yusuke followed through on any of his studying, like, in this regard, we wouldn't have so many misconceptions here! <laughs> Despite my own personal experiences, and the experiences I have seen that have come from people like Makoto or Futaba, I am not sure that I grasp this basic concept. <laughs> I must learn more about the hearts of men. Truly, I am quite blind to people's suffering, or indeed their emotional state. But not to their nudity. Jiro. Do you think I will be able to capture the truth someday? <laughs> I think we should go with that one. I'm sure you will, but I mean, I'm just saying. Once we get to rank 10, maybe. Indeed, 
If I do not have belief in my own abilities, I will never come to accomplish anything. Hmm. This is exceedingly strange, though. Spending time with you has helped me discover new aspects of myself. You are perhaps a mirror of sorts. I'm in your debt. If there is anything I can do in return, please let me know. I wish to repay your kindness. Maybe it's because you don't talk very much, and so I can just bounce my ideas off of you. And see how truly foolish they are. <laughs> Great, now we can get better skill cards. All right. Hmm. Ha! <laughs> Cesar Brew! <laughs> Against our better judgment, we're actually going to hang out with Oya. I like Oya. Yeah, that's true. Well, we would like to finish all the confidants if we can, and so we are going to try to, but we really need this charm, and so the most efficient way to get charm is to hang out with Oya, so... Sounds reasonable to me! That gets more Arcana Burst points when uh, when we're going to be fusing devil stuff, so <laughs> this will work out. Kill two birds with one stone and all that. Climate change? It's another hot summer this year. I bet we're gonna break some record temperatures. Although I'd be pretty happy to let those records stay unbroken. You and me both! Still, this time of year is best for a nice, refreshing cold one. Is it basically every time of year good for that? It is for me! Have you heard any good gossip? My deadline is coming up and I'm all out of material. Sit down, I'll treat ya. I see. A bulletin board, huh? Uh, yeah, so then the next thing that happened was this calling card just appeared all over there. So the calling card they used for Kamoshida was different. Now that's a scoop. That kind of information usually doesn't see the light of day. Okay, wait, what? You mean... Oh, I see all the different calling cards. Aha, that's right! Because the because we had an artist for every other calling card. Right, so The first right. one was really primitive. There we go. You have any photos or videos of it? Heck, I got 15 copies in my wallet right now! <laughs> you want seven? You probably shouldn't carry those with you, just saying. Mm. Oh no! Oh no! I'm pretty sure that Mishima does. Oh, you're so mean. Nice, you have some great connections. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? What did you want them to be called? The Feather Rangers? They sound like kids on a playground, not valiant fighters for society. I'm pretty sure there aren't any kids on playgrounds <laughs> that call themselves Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Well, probably now. But, well, yeah, now. <laughs> but Feathermen? Now, I bet you'll find about a thousand or more Feathermen. I mean, they act all high and mighty, but I'm not sure they're really worth very much in the end. Hey, screw you too. <laughs> worth. Yep. What? You don't think they're really virtuous, do you? I'm pretty positive, actually, they are. In my line of work, there's no clearer sign of deception than goodwill. And that's why you're a wonderful person. You know, like the shady actions of a charitable organization, or the actual criteria of a peace prize. Now, you're 100% correct <laughs> on both of those. I know I get really angry at a lot of charities. She works in news, so she's kind of cynical. Yeah. Same goes for the Phantom Thieves. You just have to learn to take some things with a grain of salt. Hey, the Phantom Thieves aren't medjed, despite the freaking pay-per-view going on right now. Who's speaking of salt? Any mar any margaritas, Lala? <laughs> well, I happen to have this holy stone. It's a pretty expensive <laughs> price. Man. Anyway, don't be such a downer on the poor kid. He obviously believes in things. Why? It's the truth. There you go again. You used to be so positive. Then she started dating. Ah, shut it. I don't care about the past. Alcohol does that to you. Give me some sushi. We're all out. They serve sushi here? <laughs> Lala is great. <laughs> hey, why don't you go back to covering politics? Ooh, speaking of politics. <laughs> no can do. I've been permanently reassigned to the culture and entertainment department. Man, you were too cynical to even be a political reporter? <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> What a crappy company. I mean, it's already been over a year since the incident. Incident? Oh, by the incident, I mean... And see, Lala is even, like, providing all the necessary yeah. context. I love well, it. Lala's her friend. Don't say another word. That has nothing to do with my source. Right, sorry. 
Eh, damn it, I'm already sobering up. Give me a refill, Lala-chan. You're such a child sometimes. But you're also my primary customer. <laughs> hey, you want a drink? You can have some of mine if you want. Quit corrupting the <laughs> youth, girl. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't mess with my employee. Oh. Whoa, that's some scowl you've got. Anyway, why are you coming to a bar if you can't even drink alcohol? I because work here, too! <laughs> also that, yeah. Uh, it's for the charm, really. <laughs> I kind of want to ask. But she's not going to say. Right? Especially not this early in the confidant chain. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter what I pick. I like the atmosphere. You know, I, I even actually do. Yeah. Hmm, that makes sense. Feel free to visit whenever you want, honey. <laughs> wow, that's seriously the only reason? You're so uptight. Well, at least now I know you're going to be pretty useful. Uh, I guess I should have done more of a quid pro quo thing I for... suppose so. Okay. I'm not all that interested in the Phantom Thieves myself, but keep the info coming, all right? Man, that must suck for you to be assigned as the primary reporter on something you don't care about. I know, it's like the company she works for is butts. What's taking so long, Lala-chan? Nice. Where's my drink? Do they call you Escargo because you move as slow as a snail? I'll poison you. <laughs> We're all out of booze. A certain slosh reporter drank it all. I'm doing a good job of poisoning myself, thanks. Oh, fair point. Can't you just go buy more? I'll wait for you forever. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> sure hope my charm goes up. Only three points, though. Man, we even got the luck reading. But yeah! that was all we needed! It Mission was worth accomplished! It. <laughs> awesome! Well then. Actually, that was kind of a fun event, though. Yeah, yeah. She's kind of an asshole, though. I really just want to hang out with Lala. Right? That's the big appeal. I had to go through hell thanks to you, Miss Takemi. <laughs> so this better be worth it. Oh, the clinical trial. I had to talk to a different dark-haired, short-haired lady. Sorry, I'm going to pass on it today. Even though I sent you a text message and everything. It's all right. Our charm is high enough. Talking me is depressed. But my overflowing charm melted her stubborn heart. <laughs> I need to talk to you since this might be the last time. Oh, boy. Yeah, uh, actually, where we were in her story, mm. she would just collapse after yeah. the last time. I mean, we don't know how much of it was actually true or just trumped up by what's hey. his face. Yeah. I'm thinking of resigning. That's what he wants you to do. Several of my suppliers have stated they're going to stop selling to me. If I can't get my hands on medical supplies, I won't be able to get what I need to complete the new medicine. They're probably being pressured by Oyamara to stop doing business with me. So, I figure it's over. <sighs> that is not cool. Yeah. That, yeah. I think that's the correct one. Gosh, what a, it's still kind of an awful thing to say, but... I know, but... That's the sort of thing to throw in her face. Yeah. Like, are you really going to walk away from that? Wasn't she your motivation? Right. Like, that's letting her die in vain, kind it, of. Exactly that. What about Niwa-chan? It's fine. No, no it isn't. I confirmed at the hospital Niwa-chan was being treated at. Oh, Yamada was telling the truth. Jeez. Niwa-chan was apparently smiling until the very end. She probably didn't want to worry anyone. I wish I could have cured her. I didn't want fame or money. All I wanted was to keep her smiling. Well, what about the next Miwa that shows up? Yeah! This isn't just about her, though. I, I was going to help every single person who was suffering from that disease. So don't give up! I was a sickly child when I was young, too. I was always in the hospital and was rarely well enough to attend school at all. Uh, that's pretty impressive that she was able to pass the bar and become a doctor. You, you pass the bar to become a lawyer, Billy. You go to medical school. I know school. things! Yeah. 
medicine was all that kept me alive. It is neat that she spent so much time in hospitals and developed such a respect for it that that's yeah. what she wanted to do. That's why I wanted to become a doctor. Makes sense. So I could save people, just like I was saved. Jeez. But I guess this is where it ends. The medical industry is a business after all, and the chief decides what's best for it. That's bollocks. I'm all out of allies. Uh, no you're not. I really want to say this. That's... Yes! You are her ally! Not just me, but what about the people here in Yongen? Doesn't everybody Why? actually really like you? I mean, despite that weird personality you have, <laughs> don't they like it? Don't they respect you? You've got plenty of allies. You're not alone. I see. Yeah, you're right. You might just be my one and only. And then there's a the young girl who had the lung thing. <laughs> I like how what she said there was subtext. <laughs> I really appreciate everything you've done. <laughs> my practice increased thanks to your nosiness. And in the end, I felt like a real doctor again. So, thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. your patience. That's where you gotta hit her, so to speak. There are plenty of other small town doctors. This is where it ends. Although it frustrates me. I can't do clinical trials anymore, so you can go Thanks. home. Thanks again for all your help. And good luck on those entrance exams. <laughs> I totally buy that. Jiro, I think she's on to us. Hmm. I mean, other than changing Oyamada's heart. That's what I was thinking. We happen to know his name. That's, That's true. Good enough. I mean, he's clearly a corrupt D bag. Absolutely. Well, bye. Hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so this Oyamada, um, what's his name? What's his full name? What are you trying to do? You mean Oyamada? Why? I hope you're not planning to get revenge for me. Not exact. Yes, research. That's it. It is totally for my research. I am researching Oyamada's name. <laughs> okay, so that's what's going to happen. What is it? You're such a weird kid. You're such a weird doctor. We fit together pretty well. And you're extremely suspicious. <laughs> His full name is Shoichi Oyamara. He's very influential chief of staff in the world of medicine. Good, then changing his heart should affect a lot of things positively. Right? <laughs> is that all? This is really cool. I'm glad that we actually do get to do this. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to make it to Pimentos for a little bit, but we will before we before run out of... Before the change of heart, yeah. Yeah, before, before, the, before the deadline. Right. Bad medicine. <laughs> The more I think about it, the worse Oyamada gets. Like, right? how many people is he thrown under the bus, you know? Yeah. Well, gang, we've done a lot of running around and a lot of building up. We've increased some confidence, increased some stats, and now we're time to end the episode. I feel like we really haven't actually done all that much, but that's probably because we're really pressured to get a lot of stuff done. So next time, we're going to work at the bar some more. Okay, see you later. Home Slice, we got plans for the beach. Camping, a mixer, the works. It's gonna be the best summer ever. We're not kids anymore, you know. Shouldn't you be prepping for corporate interviews or something? Also, how'd you do on the finals? Did you even study? Haha, <laughs> exams, jobs, it's all just information warfare, man. My skills are putting med dead to shame. I'll see you in the unemployment line. I guess I won't actually. <laughs> <laughs>